Yo, this is Chrissy the Wolf Band over here. This small, he's shy, but he makes wine. He makes a soap He's like the mayor around here. If you're around, if you're around Loma and Skillman, you'll find Chrissy Wolfman all day. You gotta go film it over there. Don't film us, you crazy f Don't film him. Where you go? Hey, well, fuck yourself. Uh, yeah, so we're over here at uh, Walmart Market. These guys make definitely the best sandwiches in the neighborhood and have some of the best meat. Virtuoso family, Jerry Virtuoso, started out in his father's butcher, which was in the neighborhood, went on to cooking school, started working in hotels, did the circuit for a while, and decided to come back to the neighborhood and give them a real treat. All the meat here is aged on premises, meatballs, fire, for an Italian deli. They make the best fire on the planet. So we're gonna go say what's up to Jerry and talk a little bit about his process. Well, over here making meatballs. Look how sick these meatballs look. Yo, so tell us a little bit about, you use a good meat in here, what are you doing? Well, we do 100% we do beef. All right. Uh, no pork. No pork? Uh, no pork at all. No uh, veal, no pork? Nah, nothing. Okay. And then we mix them in with a little bit of uh, stale bread. A little bit of seasoning, you put the you put your salt, your pepper, your garlic, your olive, a little bit of olive. Oh, coach your salt, salt, like good salt, right? Salt, yeah, coat salt, and then you put some eggs. And we mix them all together, and that's all we got. And just by hand. No and machines, by hand. no nothing. No machine. We we rolled them Fresh all by every hand. Day. Every day by by hand. Uh, that's it. That's it. You know, you really really mind. simple. Just like my mother makes. Jerry does any Thing like this, he starts changing his accent. His <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Hi guys, I'm a Jerry Can I get? Can Virtuoso. I bring these in the back over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Don't listen family. to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Owner style, right here, right here at your local shop. All you hipsters, this is where you gotta come, you freaking mooks. <laughs> this is called the Rat Pack. We got a, a sweet version and a, and a spicy version. The spicy version is the boss. But when I make it, you get a mixture of the Rat Pack and the Willy Special, you know? Oh, it's sick. So wait, what's on this? What's going on this? What is this? What is this? You get on it? Yo, you know, the Willy Special yeah, well, was, was special a little was joke. What was it? This yeah. is my own version of an Italian sandwich. Oh, yeah. It went viral. It was on YouTube and everything. Oh, get out of here. It went viral for one day. I told him, listen, you come here, you can't make that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, so the Willy Special ain't on the menu? No way. No? No way. Get out of here. Come on, Jay, you gotta put the Willie special on that. <laughs> so what we got on here? So prasada, prosciutto di parma, mortadella, what's up? Pepperonis. Pepperonis, right? Gabagol. Gabagol. Gotta put a little speck. A little gabagol, a little speck. Whoa. Speck, for those that are out there that don't know, speck is an aged smoked prosciutto from uh, northern Italy. It's kind of like, uh, like a cross between what they do in Austria and what they do in Italy. So since it's all the way up north next to Austria, you know, right, they serve it out of that. Ordered a Riccio provolone, you know, the good stuff? No, no it's complete I use, without the secret ingredients. It's all good. Without the it. secret ingredients. Well, what is it? The Willy? There's the Rat Pack. That's a Rat Pack. All right, I want to play those. That motherfucking Brooklyn. There's two lessons to be learned. One, do old school Brooklyn things, and two, do it quality, bro. I mean, if you're an old school guy watching this, or you're out of Michigan, or you're somewhere else, you want to blame my fellow Pizza Iolo, Italian restaurant, butcher shop guy, you know, make it yourself, figure it out, it's not that hard. Let me fucking go with my fucking sandwich now, fuck you. That we age in house, oh, right? This is Jesus awesome. Prime. Like that, you can see that marbleization. So how long? How long do you age this for? We age this at least three weeks. Wow. Two and a half, three weeks. That's amazing. Yeah, and that, that you can see the marbleization. Yeah. You know no, I mean? it's great. I mean, I mean, that's the certified Angus. That's right. beautiful stuff. A lot of people don't realize, but with the with the aged beef. Um, how important it is because that's what really breaks down the tendons and really yeah. gives you that butter yeah. and melt yeah, you your can mouth see, we, have, we, we age everything outside in here. You yeah. know what I mean? And then we have we don't have much, but I mean we, what we do, we age and then we bring them outside and, and then, we take down the whole beef itself. What is this right here? That's a leg of lamb. Wow. But we wrap it up in there. Right, right, it right. It stays nice and dry. 
No, this, is, this, looks, this looks out of control. There's nothing more Brooklyn than this. Washing down your boss hero at the Market with a Manhattan Special. If you was gonna only be so lucky to get Manhattan Special at your freaking wherever, wherever you guys out there are watching this, there's nothing better. Pizza, Italian hero, right down the street this is made. Since 1895, Manhattan Avenue and Katsuya Street all day. Yo, wait, so, so Gennaro's your son? Yes. <laughs> wait, so you're Gennaro's father? And he goes, and he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, yeah, that's what my wife is telling me. I don't know, though. She's telling me that. I'm not a sure. And where are you from? I was born and raised in this neighborhood. What do you think about how the neighborhood is changing? What do you do? You get a, you get a, uh, you go to these hipster bars sometimes, you go pick up the girls over here, huh? Yeah, they don't you, shave uh, their underwear off those girls. They don't shave their underwear. <laughs> I'm gonna educate these kids a little bit. They're good, though.